Hello everyone, welcome to my follow-up for Ocean Rain by Echo and the Bunny Man. I love when they collab. This was a good album. Uh, pleasantly surprised by the amount of like Baroque instrumentation on here, very string-based, which was cool. Um, I didn't love the album, but I liked it quite a lot. Um, and there's a good handful of tracks here that I will go back to uh, here and there. Let's go ahead and uh, go track by track on this thing. As you can see, I have it at about a four, um, just barely a four. Uh, Silver is a nice jangly way to open up the album. The trio of Jangle, Post Pump, Post Pump, <laughs> nice, Post Punk, Bro, bro I, can, I, I can talk, I swear. I've only had four drinks today. And Baroque instrumentation are all at play here. And it's just, you know, right out of the gate you get that. Uh, Nocturnal Me is almost a 3.5. Almost. Uh, I like the gothic feel going on here. Uh, it just doesn't interest me a lot to return to it very much, and I'm, I don't really know why. Um, I don't really have much of a problem with it. Crystal Days is a nice uplifting tune, a uh, very stepwise melody that drives the song along. Um, the Yo-Yo Man, that wind instrument is really cool. Uh, does anyone know what that's called? Is it a didgeridoo? Is it a massive kazoo? A flute? I don't know. Uh, I mostly feel the same way with this as I do Nocturnal Me. This track is better, I'd say, though. Uh, Thorn of Crowns. Uh, the chorus breakout alone makes this song worth listening to. Um, aside from that, the edgier, like, punkier sound isn't my preferred output, but it's still really solid work. Um, Killing Moon, obvious highlight here. Just one of the best post-punk singles out there. Genius track. Can't say enough good things about it. Um... Uh, you listen to it and you're like, I can't believe someone like came up with this. It's so well realized. Seven Seas is a magnificent track. I prefer this to Crystal Days. Uh, great ocean vibe here, kind of you know hammering that home with a nice bit of brightness after Killing Moon. Um, kind of sets the stage well going into the outro. Uh, My Kingdom. I actually like a lot of what this track does. I think it just comes together in kind of an awkward way. Uh, worst track on the album for me, but that's not really knocking it at all. Uh, and then Ocean Rain, I think, is a fantastic outro. Bittersweet, uh, but hopeful verses. And then you got this introspective chorus with great climax to close the album out. Um, so yeah, it's it's very solid. I'd say my favorites are The Killing Moon uh, and Ocean Rain with a shout out to Silver and Seven Seas. Um, and everything else is pretty decent as well, too. Um, does it work great as an album? Kinda. I'd say so, yeah. Um, I think the Yo-Yo Man and My Kingdom are kind of like weird speed bumps. Um, but overall, I think it's quite nice. Uh, everyone wants me to go check out their more uh, post-punk driven kind of stuff. Um, and also more like Neo Psych, right? Of their earlier albums. Which I reacted to The Cutter. Was that the name of the song? Off of Porcupine? I can't remember. Uh, and that was an interesting track. I, I remember that being quite interesting. So I, I will I will do more Echo and the Bunnymen in the future because I quite enjoyed this and I'd like to hear more output from them. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, Godspeed. Mm -hmm.